Cheers, Drew. Cheers, Brian. Hey, uh, you got a sword going on there. What? <laughs> uh, this is the Lord of the Rings sword, apparently. It is! I'll admit, this is going to be Drew's chance to shine in right now, because we're talking about the limited edition Lord of the Rings pen from Montegrappa. I admittedly know very little about Lord of the Rings. That's okay. Drew knows very much. Not apparently. very much. I know, I know a decent amount, and I am a, a fan enough to he, he have... He literally owns the sword from Lord of the Rings. Anyway! It's got inscriptions on it and everything. It does! Wow. It talks about how it is a reforged version of Narsil. What is that, Drew? Narsil was the sword before it became Anduril, which is what this is. Awesome. This is really great. I've never felt so ignorant. <laughs> um, and I've... Uh, I don't think Drew's seen this pen in person. No, I have not. Not so, the completed version. We visited Montegrappa, so I saw it in stages. Yes. So this will be a special treat for Drew. I'm excited. He's an excitable person anyway, if you don't know what you're noticed. talking about. Um, so yes, there you go. So the the packaging wow. uh, is definitely part of the, the, the whole presentation. You've got Middle Earth there. there. Yep. I was going to say that. You beat me to it. <laughs> Can you see if there are any? Yeah, so um, Montegrappa custom makes their boxes for these limited edition pens. We saw when we were there, they have an entire warehouse just for their boxes. Um, there you go. There's a there's a ring. Wow. With the Lord of the Rings written in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. I really feel like you should describe this more than me because I'm just going to uh, state Well, the you've got the same inscription that is uh, on the... One ring itself, there you which go. obviously means... It means uh, one ring to rule them all, Ooh. one ring to find them... Oh, you looked this up! And the other to... One ring to bring them all. Bring them all. And, and in the darkness, the darkness bind, them. bind them. Yes, I did look it up. Well done! Not bad! My memory failed me on that. <laughs> I, I did write it down. I was surprised you even began it. That's I cool! I do a little research. You know, right. I'm not trying to be super ignorant, but anyway... Uh, like so even yes. the box is like velvet lined. Goodness. Oh yeah, and they have the obviously this would be a crazy box. This whole thing weighs ten and a half pounds. Jeez. By the way, we weighed it All right. uh, for shipping purposes. So we can slide this thing out of here, and it's even like felt lined on the bottom. Uh, so wow. as you're putting it on your desk, um, it's a wood box. Nice, um, you know I don't know what kind of coating is on this. Some kind of lacquer or something like that, but very mm. shiny, stunning. Uh, yeah. So yeah, let's crack this thing open, shall we? Now I will say our team has. Everyone who has seen this pen in the building has been like, oh, can I see it? So we've like taken it out a couple times. So it may, it may be well, clearly there's a hole a here state than it would be if you receive it new. Um, yes, there's a hole here. That's for the octagonal Montegrappa uh, ink, which I guess is special. It says Lord of the Rings on the side. It is. I opened it up for a second. I saw you the, it real I saw quick. the cap and I'm like, oh, that is special. So then right, I shut it. Show the ink real soon. Because I wanted it, it to be a surprise um, for me. Yes. So, oh gosh. It's oh, like it's got all rubber bands. Super rubber. That's all right. We can unrubber band it for the, okay. for the folks at home. Um, there you go. Ooh. So it's got the ring at the top. Dun, 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 so it's a little special. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know that it's special ink. I think it's just their, their it's black ink. It's got a special cap at least. But the cap with yeah. the inscription of the ring. So that would normally seat there. I think for shipping purposes, they like to keep it separate. Makes sense. Just in case. I mean, it's already sealed in plastic, but you never know. They're safe. They're very, very doing. intentional with all of this. Absolutely. So obviously you've got a cloth here emblazoned with Lord of the Rings, mm. a little monograppa. All very classy here. Um, it's got the pen. Uh, we're going to get to that in just a second. More Lord of the Rings stuff. We'll coordinate. Here you go. Pulling this out, Drew. Teamwork. Oh my gosh. What a fellowship we, we have. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. Um, now it's debated. So, do you want to do you want to carefully open this? Do you up know what through? this is, Brian? I I want you to explain it. This uh, to the folks is at home. this. I did not know this. This was a thing. This yeah. they're, they're clearly going for a Lambus bread sort of packaging. Great. The elves when they visited, uh, you know, they they were given the hobbits were given this bread mm. that one bite would be enough to sustain them for, uh -huh. you know, a whole day or more than that. And it was wrapped in a little leaf package. This is so adorable. Oh my gosh. The, the, th um, the thoughtfulness and the intentionality yeah, around this is, that is, is really cool. on point. I won't, do we, we don't, do we want to open this up or? I would say open it up. All right, well, let's, let's see take, what let's it take, like. let's take a look here. This is why we're doing the oh. video. It's not well, a, it's not a bow. It's no, just a it's knot. just a knot, but uh, I don't, I do not want to mess it up. Ha! <laughs> All right, so 
<gasps> the Elvis, the Elvis leaflet. That's pretty cool. Look at this. It looks oh, like there's some kind wow. of. Is there like maps in there? Like oh, what is? Okay. It's a whole Middle Earth. It's a Middle Earth map. map. Oh, wow. What? That's like pretty red. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought oh, this would be fun. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That's pretty rad. What would you do with that, Drew? Would you like frame it or something? Uh, I don't know. No, I would, I would keep I'm keep a, I'm a, the, I'm a purist, the yeah. Okay. And then it's got a lot of instructional oh, stuff. Oh, wow, yeah. They didn't just the put pen. a map. They put all kinds of information on there. There's a whole use and maintenance description here. and then, uh, But uh, we will show you how to use it here in a moment. Yes, indeed. I will refold this better. There later. you go. And then there's a booklet of some kind. If you want yes, to let's peruse this. That's a nice booklet. It That's is like a very nice booklet. A, a that nice is not Middle Earth. Debunk, that is Bassano del Grappa. It is. That is the One Ring at the bottom of the uh, river where Smeagol found it. Um, and the Fellowship, obviously just some movie references. It looks like uh, they're talking about the jeweler aspect of the creation of the pen. Ooh, this is the pen. <laughs> Sneak peek. Ah, the finger of Sauron. And then, oh, there's the pen. Spoiler alert, Again. that's what it looks like. So, movie references a little, and some uh, language about how the pen was made, which uh, is considerable, to say the yes. least. Yes, we're going to move I that believe they used that um, lost wax in order to do this. They, this was a lost wax, yeah. sterling silver cast. So, there's a lot to talk about as far as how the pen there was made. Is. And before we get into this, I think it's safe to say that this pen is not going to be in most people's price range. This is absolutely yeah. a way over-the-top luxury item. It is, and in fact, we're not like stocking tons of these or anything like that. So if you are going to order one from us, it's kind of like a special order type situation, yeah. which is not uncommon with pens in this price range. They just don't make that many of them. So if you want to get special nib sizes and stuff. Um, and there it is, the Eye of Sauron poking through. Yes, indeed. So this is a, a nice daily carry pen oh here. That I yeah, just throw it in your pocket. Uh, and... You can resituate the eye. It can mm -hmm. just kind of like be looking so at you. It can always be looking at you, especially if you That's put right. that ring on. Yeah, that's right. Um, so Lost Wax cast sterling silver, um, you know, that process, it's, it's used a lot in, in jewelry. They use this on several other pens mm -hmm. um, that they've done in the past, like their Chaos pen. They've done it in a number of different ones. Um, it's all sterling silver trim as well. Uh, piston filling pen. The resin part is, is a celluloid resin, like the cellulose nitrate, the, the legit stuff. <coughs> um, 18 karat gold nib. They're going to do 379 of these pens wow. worldwide. Uh, and 379 apparently is for three, seven, and nine rings forged for elves, dwarves, and men. That's right. So that even the number Interesting. of them was I did not know that. The theming. And apparently there are 20 different motifs. I wouldn't of be surprised. The series yeah. incorporated into this pen. So I was going to see, Drew, how many you could. Uh, okay. Maybe identify at right. a glance. Well, very quickly, you've got uh, Mount Doom in the eye of uh, Sauron here up at the top. You've got okay. Isengard here on the left and the right. Mm -hmm. You've got Sting, Frodo's sword. Behind that, you have the elven brooch that the Fellowship was given when they uh, visited Galadriel. Underneath, you have Arwen's Evenstar, the front door of Frodo or Bilbo, not really sure. The One Ring, obviously. Aragorn's ring is uh, right above his sword, which is Narsal, not Anduril, because this is... Um, no, sorry. This is Andoril. Well, it was... No, no, this is Andoril. You can actually see the uh, inscription there. Yeah. How about that? This is Andoril. Uh, behind that, you have the uh, some mithril. Uh, below that here at the bottom, circling the entire bottom of the pen, is a uh, Aragorn's crown, which he gets in Return of the King. Nice. And then around the main barrel, you have all the weapons of the Fellowship members. You've got Legolas's bow here, Gandalf's staff, uh, three swords to uh, represent Merry Pippin and Sam, you have Boromir's sword, Gimli's axe, and then now we've made a, a whole row with a little bit of a Tree of Gondor reference here behind Aragorn's sword. And then here is where I get a little mixed up. Obviously, you've got Gollum here, some leafiness here, and I don't know if this is just a general uh, theme. And then this looks like a elven or elvish uh, crown or tiara sort of thing, but I, I don't know who it belongs to. And then you've just got this... Fabric. I don't know if that's a reference to the cloaks or something like that, but yeah, those are the only three that kind of trip me up. I think they might just be general motifs, or they might be something more specific than I'm getting. Could be. Could be. But one of my favorite things is the fact that oh, you've also got J.R.R. Tolkien's kind of logo there on the uh, on the nib. Nib. Yep. yep. So you got J.R.R. That's twenty things I've counted so far. Yeah. They say more than twenty. And then the, the ring. 
the ring actually is actually removable. Comes off, and there we go. That's pretty cool. Da, Be careful da, with that ring drill. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Does it actually da, fit da, you? Da, it actually da, fits you. Da, da. Bum, ba, ba, bum. <laughs> Can you see me? It's already going to your head, Joe. You, you shouldn't Where be able to see go? me. Ha! 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 Can't see me. Uh, oh my god. I do have big knuckles though, so getting rings off is kind of hard. Yeah. I probably just have to keep it. What on. size? Uh, well, you can do that for a price, Drew. It's a very expensive ring. Yeah. I'll keep the pen. You keep the ring. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, this thing, this thing coming off. We're good here. <laughs> I'm amazed it actually fits. It's kind of a small yeah. ring. It's kind I, of a small ring. I have a small hand. There you go. What size ring would you say that is? Probably maybe an eight and a half? I don't know. No, smaller than that. I've got really small fingers. Really? But I've got big bony knuckles. So like you Jafar do. from Aladdin. You know, I've got these long gangly <laughs> fingers and then just... So, you know, pens don't... I mean, uh, uh, pens. You could say you're like rings, Gollum. Rings like, don't come off me. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's got, he's got some bony knuckles. You should see right? how, I, how I eat fish. I don't get that reference. It's nasty. I'm it's a, he okay. eats it. There's a really nasty Fair thing. enough. Just teeth Fair and enough. fish. Wow. Cool. Okay, so Monograppa, this is part of what they're calling their cult series or maybe their fantasy you know, lineage, um, dating back to 1995 when they came out with their dragon pen, um, which really was kind of part of what kicked off the whole limited edition mm -hmm. thing. Like, and they've just CDs been kind of doing that ever pens. since. Yeah, absolutely. So they've done... Um, <laughs> Uh, the Chaos, they did the Iron Throne, Winter is Here, now this, they've got things like the Queen Pen, so they've really done some pretty amazing, oh my gosh, Drew, you are going to have to buy this thing. Um, Lord of the Rings, over 150 million copies of the book sold, $3 billion in ticket sales, um, and the thing that we can say after having met Giuseppe, seeing this pen in production, the amount of like immersion that they go into, and Monograppa, especially Giuseppe, uh, when developing these pens is pretty intense. Yeah. Like, clearly, somebody with very legitimate, like, uh, I don't know, knowledge and, and interest in something like this, like, this is a very legitimate, um, legitimately represented pen. They didn't just, like, write Lord of the Rings on it and call it a Lord of the Rings pen. Like, they really incorporated some deep, deep cuts in here. They did. It's a lot of fun to look at. <laughs> And to Drew's credit, we re he really didn't study this up ahead of time. He just spouted all that off the top of his head. So yeah, mad respect yeah, for you, Drew. Yeah, most of it's pretty obvious. And we saw the uh, the eye of Sauron being made too. They're all yes. hand done. The um, in inlays, the lacquering, the uh, uh, the enameling is all done individually by hand. The, the craftsmanship is just out of this world. Mm -hmm. So if you are a hardcore Lord of the Rings fan, you're a pen fan. It's going to be harder to find a better matchup than these. Um, so this is the sterling silver version, which has an MSRP of four thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. We have it on our site for forty two seventy five. Um, but uh, they also are doing a solid gold version, which is like seventy grand or something like that. If you're Ask interested. us if you're curious. I'm sure we can find one for you. They make those more on demand, um, and I think they're going to be making a like lower. Price one too. They tend to do that. That's like, like they in the did four hundred dollar range. They like did they that did with Game moon, of Thrones and yeah, and the yeah. moon landing mm -hmm. pen and stuff like that. So uh, I haven't seen that one yet, but that may be forthcoming um, soon. And uh, last thing, Drew, I was going to see. Can you pronounce the um, inscription that's on the ring? In we its, just did like, native tongue. Oh God, no. Yeah. I've always said I've wanted to learn Elvish so I can speak it with a country accent. Oh. Loudly. Wow. Because it's always whispered like. Oh, they don't, they don't. But I want to be like, hey, Dirt Barshawn for Game Dip Dip. Well, I, I have it written down here, kind of, sort of phonetically. Ash Nazg Thrakatuluk. You have to whisper it. A lot of air. The Zoom Ishi Krimpatul. 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 All right, well, you get your Krimpatul right here. Enjoy. So you can check this out on our site. We have more pictures and stuff like that. <laughs> Life goals here for Drew. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to us here. Thanks so much for watching, and right on.